We're gonna hit connect to the line. And I've already connected it the Wi-Fi in here. That's simple if you don't know how to do that. Probably shouldn't even have a phone. So Alright. We're going to click on Jupiter because Jupiter is out. Okay. Jupiter is up there. You probably can't see it, but we're going to slew over to it. And I'm going to turn on the red dot finder. And you probably can't see that either. But we're going to slew over. And I went a little bit too far. I'm gonna go up. Over. And I'm gonna turn it down a little bit and oops. Get it straight down. Oh, I guess it helps to take the dust cap off too. And right there, that's Jupiter. I'm trying to hold, hold it in. That's Jupiter through the scope. I'm gonna go ahead and hit a line. We're gonna go to bed. Do you want your bike shut off in here? No. Okay. Okay. Yeah. The next. We're gonna shut the one off in the kitchen. Okay. Um, so anyways, now it says go to. Now we're, I'm gonna go to Let's see. Let's go to the star. Oh, and by the way, the moon doesn't help. The moon's too big of an object to to to, um, to, to start out with. And um, if it doesn't say go to, there's probably a problem. And um, I guess the best thing to do with that is to connect your device to the internet get its location settings up, make sure that your um, device is oriented right. What I mean by that is it's calibrated right. So if you put it into compass mode and you look up at the stars, then you will see um, the right stars. Okay, so this, I'm gonna tell this to go up a little bit, even though that I can't see it because it's in a cloud. And I'm gonna hit enter. I'm gonna go tap it some more, hit align, then I'll find the next object, hit go to. And it's just complete clouds right now. And then And you gotta wait for the scope to slow down. And there's some times where your uh, your phone will freeze up, kind of like this. See the apps kind of froze. Should we put it into compass mode? Froze up, which will make this freeze. Which will make the scope freeze up too, because it's not computing. So yeah, prop, that's the problem with the Astrofy is that you have to rely on your computer. On your or your phone, and if your phone freezes up, see now it just came out of its freezing up. So, um, it's basically, it's gotten to its spot wherever it is. It should okay, yeah. So now it's over here. Well, it's still actually going because it's still rising. You gotta wait until 
this is on the target. Gary? Yeah? Is that alright when we did the lights? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. I want okay. the other light turned off. Alright. That's the eat a maggot now. So, I guess it's still getting on its target, or it's found its target. I don't know what its deal is. But I'm going to go ahead and tilt you up. And then, a little bit over. And then, enter. And do it again. Line it successful. It's not lined, obviously, but I'm just... I've done it enough times to know it works. But, again, the biggest thing is you've got to get the um, location services on the phone first. So now we're going to go to M15, or hit go to, and then it's going to it. Go over here. M15 apparently is below horizon for me, even though that it doesn't say that on the phone. So. Um, you can actually move, let's see. You can move that up and down too, where the telescope connects to the mount. You can move that up and down. Um, I actually have core drop um, disabled because it makes your makes it go faster. So yeah, just make sure your location service is set set correctly. Make sure your device is oriented correctly. Um, I don't think the device oriented correctly is so very important. It's more of the location. I guess helps. Um, of course, with this Astrofy, there's no internet in it. If you had a GPS or something that would work, you know, be nice. Date and time be set up right. That also helps. Um, of course, it all imports from your phone, but sometimes phones aren't right. Um, I we'll just there's what my settings are. I've got the 102 millimeter Astrofy. So, go to that. There's my settings. Okay, that's cool. I'm going to turn that on, turn that on, turn that on. Even though I don't know what those do, I just want them. Because that's cool. Um. Eh, I don't know why solar system's off, what? Well, turn that on too. Anyways, see so telescope, side reel. Um, side reel is what you want it at, solar and lunar. I guess it's just it tracks differently, like the lunar, if you're going to go lunar, that's when you would use to do um, a line with the moon. Otherwise, you don't want to align with the moon. It's too big of an object to get it right. Um, align using manual align. That's what you want. Hibernation mode. Don't have that enabled. Well, so let's not have that. Um, deep reverse, whatever. Your slew limits. Backlash. Just keep it the way it is. Um, I'm pretty sure I have these set wrong. But the backlash, it'll, make, it'll jerk the telescope back to where you had it before. It's annoying. Um, cord wrap. Cord wrap is, I guess it is enabled. You can disable that and it won't stop in the middle of the thing and turn around or whatever. Communications direct. I haven't figured out the access thing point yet. I guess you can set this up on a, um, where it uses your Wi-Fi. So if you had like a permanent stand and you didn't want to, you know. Um, and then you can reset stuff. So you can revert to factory default, edit, you can, so like if you're going to different locations, I guess you can save stuff, import to different depositories, I don't know what all that stuff does, but, yep. You can align and lock, align, so you can go to like a different, um, different planet, and then say it's not, not centered in the eyepiece, you can align it. You can also lock. Lock will basically track it better, kind of. It, it, it just it tracks it for longer. It knows what it's doing. It's not going to go into hibernation mode or whatever. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I guess you can share stuff. Oh, 
preparing screenshot, whatever. Don't know what that does for you. Center, it'll center that where your target is. So, search, you can search for stuff. Um, it can get to the ISS, but it will not follow it. So, any satellites and stuff, it can get to it, but it won't follow them. Too slow to follow. Alright, that's it.